Good morning, I'm Rose from Grandma Rose's Open Pantry, and today we are going to be making some no-bake, 75% less sugar oatmeal cookies. And, uh, and by the way, it's a good time for you to hit that subscribe button, sh share this video if you like it, and hit that little notification bell. So, on with our cookies. I have one stick of butter in my uh, saucepan. Now, when I say 75% less sugar, that the recipe calls for two cups of sugar. I'm putting one and a half cups of stevia and one half cup of sugar in my saucepan with my butter. Okay? Now, to this, we're going to add one half cup of milk and I'm going to stir this up really well. All right. We've got one fourth cup of cocoa. And I think I'm going to need my whisk here. Now, when this comes up to a boil, we're going to boil this two minutes. Only two minutes. I've read some of the recipes and they say one minute. But uh, I have found that two minutes works really, really well. So I'm just going to get this all whisked up together. And then a lot of people wait until they, uh, they take it off the burner and put their but peanut butter in. But I'm going to put my peanut butter in it and cook my peanut butter in with it. So that's just the way I'm I'm going to do it. Now remember this is 75% less sugar. So you need 75% more. <laughs> All right. I got it stirred up really well. And I've got it on like 6, which is medium high on my stove. And I've got my seal pat here. Uh, we're going to drop it by spoonfuls. I've got my vanilla and I've got my oats. Two cups of oats. So when we take it off the burner, we're going to put our vanilla and our oats in it. And then we're going to stir it. It's going to go really quickly. But we're going to stir it until it starts to thicken. And then we're going to spoon it out on my seal pat. Now you can use, uh, you can use a baking sheet with wax paper on it. You can use aluminum foil. You can use parchment paper. Just whatever's good for you. Or you can even spray like a cookie sheet with cooking spray and uh, drop them on it. I got a little knot right here that I'm going to take out. I think it was a little bit of my... Uh, Stevia. It didn't mix up real well. Okay. It's almost about to boil. Promise? Do you have something you can set for two minutes? My phone is, my phone is in there on the, right there. Okay. In just a second. All right. It's beginning to boil. Set it for two minutes exactly. I think by cooking the peanut butter in here, it's going to give it a more of a little roasted peanut flavor, maybe. Okay. And I'm going to pretty much stir it the whole time. And by putting your peanut butter in here and cooking it, it makes it just seem just a little bit thicker. But that's okay. Prom really, Promise and I, I didn't know how the stevia was going to work in it, putting so much stevia. So we made some a little bit yesterday, and it worked really, really well. So I always like to test things out before I show y'all how to do it. Okay. I want to make sure it works. <laughs> now, it may not work at all today, but it did yesterday. All right. You keeping my time, baby?
what how much you got how much 45 seconds okay we just keep stirring I'm gonna go back to my spoon Boy, it looks good. It smells delicious. You know what? I'm going to put a dash of salt. Just a little dash. Because you always put a little salt in sweet things. The recipe did not fall for it. Alright. It's getting thick. How many seconds have I got? Okay. Turn it off. Promise, hand me a hot pad up there. Yeah, that. Mm-hmm. Okay, bring it over to my table. Now, okay, I'm going to put one teaspoon, just eyeball it, of vanilla, and two cups of oats. Just drop them in like that. Stir really well. It's going to happen quickly now. You have to work fast. Kind of like peanut brittle. You have to work, once your peanut, your syrup gets to a certain point in peanut brittle, you have to work really fast. And that's the same way with this. And I guess if you want to put pecans or something in this, but I wouldn't mess with it. I mean, it is delicious, just like this. Alright. I got all my oats stirred up good. Alright, now, what I'm going to do... Is I'm just going to take a spoon like this. And this is about the size that Promise and I like ours. We don't like big pieces, but you can make it as big or as small as you want. I'll make some big, some little for those who want a big piece. Okay. This looks perfect. Perfect. All right. We've almost eaten all those I made yesterday. So, but promise I'll take some of these home with her today. I don't know how these would freeze. You might could freeze them. I don't know. I've never tried to freeze any. They never have lasted that long. So. <laughs> Because we usually pretty much eat them. This is a lot of people's favorite cookie right here. Okay. Alright. I'm just going to finish putting these out. We'll be back with you as soon as they cool a little bit. And we're going to taste them for you. Uh, we have let them cool about 30 minutes. And you can see how they're coming out. I'm just picking them up with my fingers. Putting them on my little Christmas platter here. And uh, I'm not going to stack them. Because I'm going to take a, a picture of them. I always have to do a picture for, for my thumbnail. But I want you all to look at these. <laughs> they are so, so good. Alright. I'm just going to eat a little one right here. Mm. Well, look at this texture. Mm-mm-mm. 75% less sugar. These are delicious. Make them for the holidays. Make them for your grandkids. Make them for your kids. Because they are a lot healthier choice than full sugar. Love y'all. See you next time.